Action. 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 <laughs> this episode is about how we welcome new employees to Extreme Sandbox. Uh, it's the day before Easter. We're having a great day at Extreme Sandbox. Don't sound so enthusiastic. <laughs> I got a new computer. Uh, where is uh, one of your memes again? <laughs> where is uh, Randy Stenger? Our founder and CEO, as he likes to be referred to. I'm kind of a big deal. People know me. I'm very important. He is on a cruise right now. And he's left us to run the beast. Wow. All of this, all of what the light touches, is yours. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Wow. Just got busy all of a sudden. What do we got here? Uh, we got a family that drove an hour to get here. Are you so serious? that's pretty cool. That's yeah. awesome. So we were able to get dad and all the boys in here having some fun. Caleb did it! It's John Cena! Hopefully you guys had a good experience out here. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks guys, it was a pleasure. This whole siding thing doesn't work out and you guys want to work for minimum wage and come work here with me every day? I'll take all the four of you. That was good, thank you. Appreciate it guys, thank you. Yeah, that went great. They were very good and they had really good hand-eye coordination. And that was fun because we were able to get them through a bunch of the different activities. So they got to get in the tennis ball skill challenge and, and they actually you had the two guys on. that picked up the cones. That's crazy. I know, that's crazy. Those are the best type of customers we get because yeah. it makes our job easy. Where's your Easter Bunny ears? Are they going on yet? Huh? No. no? <laughs> They're hidden. They're hidden. <laughs> okay. If you ever hear me say stop, stop, I want both your hands up on this bar. Got it? So stop, stop. Good. Okay. Hey, Riley, are you excited? Yeah. How old are you? Uh, eight. When did you turn eight? Last week's Thursday. So you're just old enough. Yeah. You need to get that softball on top of the small cone that's uh, between the yellow and the orange tape. That one. That one. We need to set that ball on top of that cone. But if you go fast or you're jerky, it's going to come off. How did Riley do? Uh, I was super impressed. I had an eight-year-old get through the whole scenario. He did great. He got a little frustrated at the end, but that's because he was doing something really hard. He had to set that uh, softball on top of a cone. Yeah, so when we first set up the site, uh, we had initially set the minimum age to 10. Uh, but we found after, again, we're a new business, so we don't know what the actual minimums are. What's a, what's a kid's good age that can handle this type of equipment? Uh, number two, are they tall enough to operate the equipment? And number three, are they mature enough to handle the controls and the stress? And uh, so we started off with being 10 as being the minimum age, but since we've opened, we've actually lowered that to eight. Uh, so he was a perfect example. He was eight and he was able to complete everything here. He took really good direction. He was a really good kid. Did you have fun? I had a great time. <laughs> Dude, 
backwards hat it's go kind time. of day. Turn on, turn the hat around. Yeah. What's uh, going on uh, be behind you here? Who's that? She's, I have no she's, idea. She's wearing Extreme Sandbox. Yeah, gear. she just came in and no. <laughs> so that's Jen. Uh, she's new, our new marketing ninja. <laughs> it's her first day. So first day I walked her around and then immediately get her on the equipment because she needs to see what we're all about and having fun is what we're about. So she is learning the controls of our mini excavators. And then we're gonna get on their simulators later today. What else is uh, new? He's back. Jamie! I am so happy to be here. I can't stress enough how much I missed the sandbox on my time off. He sounds sincere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? It was fun. Yeah. Was it easy? Hard? Like expected? Like expected. I think I tried to hook the uh, thing on the cones at the end and that didn't turn out so well. But <laughs> Do you have any experience with heavy equipment? Mm -hmm. No. New snowmobiles, four wheelers, but yeah. when you get really good, not only will you be able to pick up the bowling pin, but you'll pull what we call an IRIC. Where you actually balance the bowling pin on top of one of those orange cones. Wow. That's when you've really made it. And while you're doing that, why don't you introduce yourself to the sandbox universe? I am Jen and today is my first day and I'm learning, ooh it's shaking, um, I'm learning all about the simulators and the bucket over there and this is really fun. So what are you, uh, what are you going to be doing here? I am going to be doing graphic design, these beautiful posters around here and marketing. In a nutshell, and training. She's our marketing ninja. Marketing ninja, yeah. We had a group, I Rick, you probably remember this, the day that we had the, the group of guys from the, the group home, Kaposia, came in and we sort of gave them a demo on all the equipment, right? We just got a card from them. These guys were super cool. They were really into the demonstrations. They were really into the equipment. So oh, here, here's a card that it looks like they made themselves for us, which I think is super cool. A big thank you. And then they all signed it for us with a little smiley face on there. That's amazing. And they can, their big joke was they thought on the simulators that the dirt looked like potatoes. So you can see they put a little picture of potatoes in there for us. And then they gave me a, a little note here that says, Dave, you've done wonders. The guys still talk about our visit. It's been the best it's been for years. That's really cool. Dude, it means a lot, awesome. to, it means a lot awesome. to me that it meant so much to them. You're such a good instructor, man. Oh, I, Rick. You're going to make me blush. How did Jen do today on her first day? She did really, oh, is she around? Oh, man, she <laughs> sucks, dude. No, she did really well. We put her on the mini excavator and she uh, went to town on that for probably 45 minutes, really getting those controls down. And then we had her on the simulator for probably an hour and a half or so, maybe a little bit more, kind of going through scenarios and getting her feet wet. She did really well. How did you think it, how did you? How <clears throat> How do you think you did today? I don't know. I think I did pretty good. I don't know for a first timer and uh, I'm learning the ropes a little bit and kind of did more hands on over there and I don't know. I thought I did bad and then they told me I did good. So did you have fun? I did have fun. It's a lot of fun. What do you have to say Adam Johnson? I'm glad Jen's here. She's gonna be a good fit with the team. <laughs> Since this is your night. first day and your first appearance on the vlog, you should thank all our viewers for watching and remind them to subscribe and all that stuff. Yes, <coughs> thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for following me through today. And uh, you guys should subscribe because uh, Irik does a really good job. Aww. You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> thanks, Jen. You're welcome. Who's doing your hey, who's doing your vlogs when you're gone? I don't know. You might have to break say, out in on him. Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> Fade to black. Fade to black. Mm.